Hey guys, we just finished reviewing this Metabo HPT 18 volt multi volt 18 gauge Brad nailer. This is their new nailer. It's touted to be 30% more compact and 31% lighter than their previous model. It's also part of their expanding multi volt system, 18 volt and 36 volt power tools. Metabo HPT Brad nailer is equipped with a, a brushless nailer and it comes with a compact. 3.0 amp hour battery and it only weighs 4.4 pounds as a bare tool. Now it's powered by what they call an air spring drive system that uses compressed air to um, inside a sealed cylinder to drive the nails. And you might say like what you know what is an air spring drive system? Well the unit is filled at the factory with a specified PSI of air, right? Um, they, they lower the piston in the cylinder, they fill it with PSI and then once once that tool is turned on, the brushless motor drives the piston and compresses the air into the cylinder. Now when the tool is then actuated, when you pull the trigger, the compressed air is released and it drives that piston down, resulting in the firing pin just striking the, the nail at the same force, believe it or not, as a pneumatic nail driver, a pneumatic tool. Um, by utilizing this sealed compressed air, it basically gives Metabo the opportunity to come up with a zero ramp up time tool. And the cool thing is, is it's always at the ready. It fires fast, meaning that when you fire this nailer, fastener is installed, zero lag time, piston resets, ready to do it again. Uh, as far as runtime and capacity, the nailer is capable of driving up to 1,650 Brad nails per charge. And the tool, um, tool has a straight magazine that holds 100 Brads. It also, the capacity of the nailer is 5 8 brads all the way up to 2 inch brads, and you can fire 3 brads per second. That's a pretty fast rate. On the magazine, there is a yellow reload indicator uh, for visual recognition of low nail qu uh, quantity to avoid dry fire lockout, uh, dry fire. I will say, there is no lockout. There's no dry fire lockout on this tool, and I wish, I really wish Metabo had considered adding that. It's just a nice feature. You don't have to put holes in your wood. Um, this features like low battery indicator, there's a selective uh, actuation, there's toolless release, uh, toolless depth of drive, belt hook, safety switch, and LED lights, all on the nailer. Um, switching between sequential mode and bump fire is easy. It's a simple switch right next to the on off switch. Um, and we really liked the quick clear nose. It's a toolless jam release. Um, it's good for maintenance, good for clearing jams, reduces downtime, no wrenches needed. Overall, today we probably installed over a thousand fasteners, and we didn't include or encounter, I should say, one single jam or problem. The um, LED light was um, one thing that we weren't really excited about. Let me tell you a little bit about that. The Metabo HPT has a bright spotlight that really just shines on the right side of the tool, completely misses the left side and the contact tip. The result is that the work surface on the right side of the tool is illuminated like the size of a softball, um, but there's no light at the working tip or the left side. So it's it's just a it's an odd thing that I wish they would improve. They did, however, listen to our feedback and improve the depth of drive knob. We pointed out that the older model had a knob that if you turned too many times, it could become disconnected. The newer model actually has a locking clip on the end of it to prevent this from happening. So um, overall, the, the depth of drive setting overall, it's easy and it's responsive. I was able to get noticeable good results with just quarter turns of the knob, which is nice. Um, okay, as far as power and performance went, we, uh, we were able to successfully install brads in multiple types of wood, oak, mahogany, pine, plywood boards, small parts, with ease. Uh, toe nailing, tongue and groove. We installed smaller trim parts. Um, we, we did some different uh, tests on bump and, and, and um, contact. Worked great. As far as toe nailing goes, um, it's accurate. Uh, the brad placement was right where you needed to go. I was trying to get it right into the tongue on the tongue and groove board. It is powerful enough to toe nail into all the materials we tested. Um, is the tip on the nailer will not fire if you press down and back off just a little bit and or like let's say you're adjusting or readjusting the nailer you know you're trying to get it just right and that's a little bit of annoying to me um you have to fully back off and reset that tip and depress it again to fire the brad nailer look this can just be a pain it's, it's an individual thing it's a pain point for me 
when you're trying to dial in your brad place when you find yourself move the nail around um, I, sometimes you try to look for that sweet spot nailing position right uh, as far as the line of sight on this nailer, it is good. The nailer has an arrow at the tip, the contact tip, indicating where the brad nailer, uh, the brad nailer is going to go. And once identified and once I shot two or three brads, I was able to achieve perfect accuracy every time. Just learning, learning curve, perfect. Uh, there's a switch lock or lock switch slide. Um, it's hard to operate. It's, it's, it's a slide lock. It's, it's kind of small and difficult to access. It's recessed. I don't see people using it. I see people either turning the tool off or disconnecting the battery. So I think that's kind of useless on this tool. As far as improvements go though, uh, Metabo HPT took our advice, they reduced the size and weight, and they improved the depth of drive knob attachment. The only thing I would see now that they could improve was get rid of the slide lock, put a dry fire lock out, and improve the LED. Um, Price-wise, you're going to see this tool sell for around $349 MSRP. Um, it's not in stores yet, it's coming soon. That's going to include its kit. It's going to include the tool, the charger, battery, and a really cool bag that they offer. Um, all right, let me think. Final thoughts on this nailer. The nailer itself uh, has some noticeable improvements in the size and weight alone. It's, it's a great reduction in weight and size. Uh, it is a solid brad nailer with impressive fastener penetration, power, and good accuracy. We like the zero ramp up time between fastening, which just allows you to just work smoothly and efficiency, just great workflow. Um, I think, I really do think Metabo HPT got it right on this. They did a nice job. They made some nice improvements on the Gen 2. Um, I'm going to give them a thumbs up on it. And speaking of thumbs up, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that notification bell, please. And don't forget, please follow Concord Carpenter and Toolbox Buzz on Instagram. I'm Rob Roblog. We'll see you next time. Take care.